Hello, and welcome to The Chance Cube. Today we will be discussing the setup phase of Star Wars Destiny. This tutorial video will be based on the rule sheet that should be found within the starter set for Star Wars Destiny. There are four steps that are part of the beginning setup phase of the game. Step 1. Find your character cards and place them in front of you, along with their dice. When using the Kylo Ren starter deck, your characters are Kylo Ren and First Order Stormtrooper, and you have two Kylo dice and one Stormtrooper die. If your opponent has the Rey starter set, they will use Rey with two dice and Finn with one die. Set aside the rest of your dice for later. This is an interesting aspect to this game, in that character cards are not part of your draw deck. They are placed in the field of play at the beginning of the game. While the rule is phrased to reference the starter deck characters, the custom deck building rules allow you to bring 30 points worth of characters based on the point values found in the bottom left hand of the card. Also note that you will have more dice than just those with the characters. These do not come into play during the setup phase of the game, but will be placed in play as your accompanying cards are played. Step 2. Set your Battlefield card, in this case the Frozen Wastes, and Reference card aside face up. Then shuffle your remaining 20 cards to form your deck. Draw 5 cards from your deck to form your hand. If you do not like any of these cards, you may shuffle any number of them back into your deck, and then redraw until you have 5 cards in hand. This second step is about pulling one other card out, which is your Battlefield card, also not part of your draw deck. Additionally, should you choose to bring one to the game, a reference card which details on one side the different types of actions you can play, and on the other is an explanation of game symbols that are found on the sides of the dice in the game. This step also sets up your hand. You draw five cards, and then have the option to mulligan, which means you get a free chance to redraw. Now you have an understanding of what your first round hand will look like, which will help you make informed decisions in Step 4. Step 3. Sort the various game tokens, damage, shields, and resources into piles near the play area, then gain two resources and place them in front of you. This step is simply a reminder to make sure you have the assortment of tokens with you, representing damage, shields, and resources. Damage tokens are counters that track how much damage you have received, shield tokens allow you to prevent one damage to a character, and resources are one of the game's currency and the primary way you pay to play certain cards or perform certain actions throughout the game. Step 4. Roll your character dice and add up the values, the white numbers, rolled. If there is a tie, roll again. The player with the highest total chooses which battlefield to fight on. The player whose battlefield is being used controls the battlefield and places it next to their deck. The player whose battlefield is not being used removes their battlefield from the game and gives two shields to their characters, distributed as they wish. After rolling, place all character dice on their matching cards. The point to remember here is that the only dice that you are rolling are the ones associated with the characters that were placed into play during the first step. The second major point is that person with the highest roll gets to choose which battlefield is used. Getting the highest roll does not necessarily mean that player's battlefield is used, but only in that that player gets to choose which battlefield is going to be used. The player whose battlefield is chosen gets the first action in the game, while the player whose battlefield is not chosen gets two shield tokens to distribute amongst their characters as they wish. Being the player who goes first is not always an advantage, and you can make an informed decision based on your opening hand, your opponent's characters, and other factors that would influence the game. That completes this look at the setup phase of Star Wars Destiny. Please subscribe to keep up with the latest tutorials, tips, and Star Wars Destiny news. Feel free to comment below, reach out to me on Twitter at The Chance Cube, and check out our website www.thechancecube.com and listen to our podcast there or your favorite podcasting app.